Good morning, it's time for a cup of joe. I want to be a cup of joe. So, since Aaron's new job has made me dead to the world, or at least dead to the world of YouTube, I have not been responding to like any comments on my videos. I usually made it a really good point to respond to all the comments on my videos. I like to interact with my audience and like respond to your guys' questions and comments and concerns and all that. But I haven't had time to do that lately, so I decided to just print out those comments and respond to them like this. Because, you know, maybe some of you have similar questions. This will just maybe be a better way of doing it. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Nice the artist asks, how do you post your videos without the internet? I post them at work. Kim Kelly says, do you know how to avoid debt and how would you do a minimalist funeral? To avoid debt, do not buy anything that you do not have the money for right then. If you don't have the money, don't buy a car. If you don't have the money, don't buy a house. And if you don't have the money, don't go to college. And I actually have thought about what I would do for my own minimalist funeral. There's a great Adam Ruins Everything video about this. Hopefully I'll remember to link to it. It's really good. But basically for me, number one, I just want to be buried in like a regular plain wooden box. Like I don't want a super expensive coffin. Those are just so stupid and pointless. Seriously, like a big expensive ornate coffin to get thrown into the ground with your dead body? What? Why? And secondly, I do not want to be embalmed. I don't want to be like stuffed and like put wires in my jaw to keep it shut and eyes glued shut and makeup and ugh, no. That is like a desecration of the body if you ask me. I just want to be just my dead body. And if it's too gross to look at, keep the coffin shut, I don't care. Jenka, last name I can't pronounce, says, Do you go to Easter Vigil with your kids or leave them at home? Easter Vigil is the night service the night before Easter where it's like super late and long and it's like totally awesome. And the answer to that, Jenka, is yes. We are crazy enough to take all three of our kids to the Easter Vigil. Cordelia this year actually lasted all the way through. Ronald Ritzer says, I don't really agree that Christ is saying get rid of all the stuff that doesn't have meaning. He is saying that if you want to be his disciple, you have to give all your wealth and possessions unto the poor and follow him. It's strictly aesthetic. It's not anti-consumerism. It's anti-materialism. It's spiritual. It doesn't matter how much meaning your few possessions have, they're still things. Ronald, I would completely agree with you. He's commenting on my video, Minimalism versus Jesus, or no, Minimalism and Jesus, which is a video that I made a while ago when I was talking about only keeping the things that add value to your life or that you whatever. But I would agree, my philosophy has changed now and I do now try to get rid of things that I actually like in order to further detach myself from caring about the things of this world. Princess Allie says, when you took us on that little trip to your basement, it looked like you live in a big empty house. There were no pictures on the walls or anything. Can you give us a tour of what you actually do have in your home and what objects you intentionally choose to surround yourself with? Thanks. First of all, Princess, I'm honored that you as royalty watch my channel. This is a question I get a lot. Will I do a house tour? The answer to that is yes. I'm planning to do a house tour this summer. I was going to do one last summer and it never happened, but this summer I'm going to make it happen. Kaylee Penner says, I wanted to share some of my joy with my mom by telling her about bits and pieces of my journey to minimalism. However, once I do, I'm met with snark and belittlement. Any tips for that? When it comes to talking to other people about minimalism, if they like put up that wall right away, then I generally just back off and stop bringing it up. The problem with talking about minimalism or really any form of intentional living with people who aren't living as intentionally is that they see it as an attack on the way that they live. They almost see it as if you think you're better than them and maybe they think that you're just following some trend and it's not really gonna last. So I would say if you bring up minimalism to someone, talk about it, and they just snub you and just brush it off, then I would say just keep smiling, just keep living. You want to give an example to them and show them how happy you are rather than just saying it if that's not working. Pandy Vibes says, I honestly don't know what you're talking about half the time, but you are very entertaining and educational. I love it. Well, thanks, Pandy. I don't know what I'm talking about half the time either. TV SMA says, what do you have against books anyway? What if nothing gives you more pleasure than books? Well, I would say that my family gives me more pleasure than books. God gives me more pleasure than books. Basically, relationships in general give me more pleasure than books. But I wouldn't say that I have something against books, per se. Just, you know, hoarding them and all that. 
Quincy Gaines says, Joe, that was awesome. Hey, I'm curious, are you still a vegan? In case you don't remember me, we met via The Daily Day. My other account was called The Chubbiest Vegan. Yes, of course, I remember you, absolutely. And to answer your question about being a vegan, no, I'm not a vegan. And I didn't even start my journey. I was thinking about it and debating maybe I was going to start do vegetarian first and dedicate to that. And then Aaron got this new job, and so pff, I've just been swamped. So I haven't had the time to really go into it any further. I'm thinking maybe this summer really hammering out how I want to go about this. Moses843 says that they followed the KonMari method to the letter and got rid of about half the stuff in their house. But then after that, they weren't satisfied and they saw the minimalist's TED talk, which inspired them to go even further. Then Moses goes on to say that if they had seen the minimalist TED talk first, they would have said, oh, you know, that's great for those people. The good thing for them that they can do that. Cheers. And just move down with their life. I think that doing the KonMari method first really helped me to get where I am today gradually enough for me to appreciate minimalism for all that it can be. And this is exactly what I was trying to say with my um, KonMari video, is that it seems like minimalism is just too, it's too removed, it's too distant, it's too much for a lot of people when they hear about it. But then KonMari is just like a much, I don't know, easier way, I guess, of doing it or coming at it. They really like that approach, but then they end up going into minimalism more and actually getting into the minimalist movement. So I love that about KonMari, that it brings people in when otherwise they would have been too shut out. Cole Harple says, this was made in 2016, yet it feels like it was made 20 years ago, both in content and in substance. Ouch. A lot needs to be done before I subscribe. Well, Cole, I don't know if this is worth responding to since you aren't subscribed because I wasn't good enough for you. But then Dinosaurs and Sippy Cup, which is an awesome name, came to my rescue and says, that's part of the appeal. It's someone creating content without a big corporation or think tank behind them. If you want PBS, they have YouTube channels that you could enjoy. But I think lots of people are really happy to find this kind of unique channel alongside those. Sharing by one guy willing to inspire and entertain us. Thanks, Shoeless Joe. You are welcome, dinosaurs and sippy cups. Sippy cup, just one sippy cup. But then Cole goes on to say more. Feels like the video is from a cell phone, which isn't a huge deal in itself, but cell phone cameras for the time being can't really pick up good quality in low lighting. So I would say for one, bump up the lighting. Okay, first Cole kind of seemed like he was being a jerk, but now it seems like he actually wants to help me. Then he says, I would say, secondly, you're trying a little too hard to put on a persona. I would say, turn down the persona a bit and bump up you. Just being you and relaxed. So these comments are 100% true. I just use the webcam on my laptop, and I just use my laptop. So that's, I have no microphones, I have no camera, no nothing. Now the sound quality was worse because my studio was like a big empty room, so it was like super echoey. But this does make me wonder still if... I don't know, if I should, I guess, invest more. I have a camera, but I don't have like the cord or like the memory stuff or any of that good stuff. But I don't know if I want to go that route because then I have to buy a tripod and like, I just have to have more things to worry about. And it's not just being a minimalist and wanting to like own, possess less items, but it's also just the complication of like trying to get it perfect wherever I am. The thing I like about just using my laptop is that when I'm staying with family or friends elsewhere, I can still make a video because I just set up my laptop, stack things up, and make a vid. But this is always something that I think about. Is it worth it to sort of improve the quality of my videos this way? And I thought it was interesting that he brought up my persona because in like my radical living videos and all that, I'm like, hey, I'm Shoes Joe, you <laughs> yeah. And I don't know, people seem to like it, I guess. It's just something that kind of developed, I don't know. And that's kind of the reason I made... Uh, the Cup of Joe series is just to give you my more sort of down-to-earth, see what I'm actually like, what I'm not like. <laughs> but I don't know. What do you guys think? Does it like, does the quality of the videos bother you? Should I get stuff for that camera and start using it? Maybe just try it out? What do you think of my shoeless Joe persona? Should I tone it down? Should I not? And I'm not saying like, I'm just going to do whatever people want me to do. I'm just curious as to like, I don't know what you guys think. DTJ says, I was about to get rid of some old VHS tapes, but then I was advised against it because apparently they'll be worth a lot of money in the future due to rarity. Should I hoard, I mean, hold on to them, or should I just be ruthless and kiss them goodbye? Well, what do you think Shoeless Joe's going to say to that? VHS tapes are like one of my biggest pet peeves. Anytime 
I like when I got my new office at school or like when I started working in the library at the parish, like VHS tapes are the first thing to go. They drive me absolutely nuts. I have never heard of this idea that they're going to be worth anything and I highly doubt that they will. I bet if you have like classic Disney movies still in the packaging, like the plastic wrap still around them, those VHS tapes, those might be worth something. Your old VHS tapes that you used like back in the day, they're not going to be worth crap, are you kidding me? Those are everywhere. Go to any secondhand store and they fill the shelves. No one's buying them, no one wants them, no one cares about them. Get freaking rid of them. Jesus says, <laughs> you got that right, this is Jesus talking. Oh, no, 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 that's not true. The name is much longer. Jesus, I pursue souls who do not want anything to do with me, and I stir the hearts plus the book of truth. That's the name. That, that Jesus, that guy. He says, you must keep focused on what my son tells you and remain united in prayer so that sin can be forgiven. I would agree with that, Jesus. The hedonistic cloud which hangs over the western part of the world, which has shunned my son, thickens every day. Your Jesus. T99. Good message. Jesus, thank you for watching my channel as well. It's even more of an honor than the princess. Well, I don't know what T99 means. I uh, googled it. And it turns out that T99 was a Belgian electronic music group best known for their acid house anthem, Anastasia. Not Anastasia, Anastasia, okay. Which reached number 14 in the UK singles chart in May 1991. So is that what you meant by T99? Jesus, are you actually a Belgian electronic music group? Oh, Jesus is back for another comment. This Jesus has a different name and it's almost as long. Okay, so this is, Jesus the fire of the Holy Spirit has intensified amongst my prayer groups plus the book of truth. That Jesus says, my dearly beloved daughter, what, just because I wear skirts and I'm your daughter? While it may seem unfair that God's children have to suffer under the reign of the false prophet and the Antichrist, whoa, know this, all souls in the world have to endure the pain of rejection and the suffering which I endured in some measure in order to be purified. Your Jesus, dear Josh, oh, oh, oh. Are those hugs? Are you hugging me? What's up with these numbers at the end? I don't, I don't get this. But thank you, Jesus. Thank you anyways. Your comments were inspiring. Bible Study 888 says you bought the book for your wife and read it. That cracks me up. I once bought a CD for my mom and listened to it before giving it to her. Is that mis 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 Is that minimalism? Yes, exactly. You buy things for other people, then you use it so you can go, like, what? I didn't buy it. I don't have it. I don't own that book. Sure, it's sitting at the table in my living room, but it's not my book. It's hers, so... One less item for me, baby. Mmm, minimalism cred. And finally, Go on Adventure 9 says, Do you think that 50 pieces for all year, including shoes and accessories, is still considered minimalist? Well, I would say that depends on what the 50 pieces are. But I mean, including shoes and accessories, are you counting your shoes as like two items or one? What kind of accessories? 50 pieces, holy crap! Did you see me? I made a video about getting rid of a thousand, which means I have well over a thousand left. But I'm glad, go on Adventure 9, that you recognize that I am the final authority on minimalism. So yes, I would say that 50 pieces is still considered minimalist. As a matter of fact, as long as you have less items than I do, you are a minimalist. And if you have more items than I am, I am. And if you have more items than I have, you are are not a minimalist. Thanks for watching, have a blessed day. I want be a cup of joe the first sip in the morning You get your golden ritual Love you, bye! Oh, P.S. If you're still watching, let me know what you thought of this style of video. I thought it was fun, good time. What do you think? Do you, do you like seeing me respond to the comments like this in a video or do you prefer to get it all typed out the old-fashioned way? Let me know in the comments below.